Hey guys, it's Luke from Holistic Survival School. Hey, uh, it's our first really nice warm spring day here in North Carolina. Uh, I thought I'd take a second to share with you um, a little uh, information on the bow drill. Um, so today, what I want to show you guys is, is not um, it's not the standard bow drill uh, operating system here. Uh, we're going to try something a little bit different. Um, this is an alternative method um, to the bow drill. Um, basically, it's the exact same thing. We have the same parts, same moving parts. The only difference is how we're positioning ourselves with the board. So today we're going to talk about an alternative to the kneeling uh, position for bow drill. Um, this is going to be a sitting uh, position. Yeah, one of the hardest things to get across is how hard we have to push down, how much down pressure we have to push. We need this spindle to get really hot and we need the, the hearth board to get really hot too. And so in order to do that, we need as much down pressure as we can. Well, the tricky part is when we do our normal kneeling stance, right, our down pressure is being generated with, with one, with our arm. We could push with our arm, but that gets really tiring. So what people tend to do a lot of times is start getting this forward lean going, okay? You get this lean going and my body weight is naturally just pushing harder on the spindle. But like I said before, for some people, it's really difficult to get enough down pressure. Um, our upper body can get tired, our hands can get tired. So today, this alternative method is hopefully gonna help you um, give you some options to play with, you know? See if you enjoy the sitting technique. Um, I know I've, I've used it in some situations when maybe my arm has been tired, I've been bow drilling for too long, and I need to change it up. Um, like I said before, it's going to use our core. We're going to squeeze with our body here, I'll show you in a second. And instead of just using our arms, we're using much larger muscles that can do a lot more uh, work for us. So what we're gonna do here, um, we still got the same parts. We still got you know, the four part system, the beauty and the hard part of the bow drill, right? It's great for beginners. We got our bow, we got our spindle, we got our uh, hearth board or bottom board, and we also got a top socket, which here is a rock. Um, if you haven't seen my introductory video, um, if bow drill is still new to you, you're still not sure on the parts, how it works, uh, check out my introductory video first before we get here. Uh, all right, so let's get right into it. Um, so like I said, we'll be sitting. Um, all the other same, everything else about the bow drill, everything else we've learned, down pressure and trenches and all the things I've covered in my intro video, it's all the same. It all stays the same. The only difference is going to be our stance. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is to hold this board down in place. I'm going to put my left foot, I'm going to kind of turn my foot over so it's not super uncomfortable. I'm going to hold it down with my left foot. I'm going to take the top socket once again in my left hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put my hand underneath my kneecap here. So on the opposite side, on the back side of my leg. And then this, it kind of creates a little cup so that once again, one of the principles is more, the more mass we have, the less this is going to wiggle, right? The less we're going to tire out. So if I can combine my hand and really squeeze it in, this isn't going to, my, my leg and my hand are going to wiggle much less. And that's where we're really going to, we're going to generate our power, not from our arm. Our arm's just kind of along for the ride. It's holding onto the rock. Generating my power from my core. I'm pushing down, pushing down with my leg. The weight of my leg is generating a lot of down pressure, okay? So, same as always. String your bow. Get your, get your top rock settled. Make sure you're finding a good angle. And you can see my leg is just kind of flopped onto my hand here. And that's great, that's what we want. Now the only tricky part is sometimes we can't, can't always see what's going on here. So I like to kind of peek my head over. And then just like a normal bow drill, just like with the kneeling position, I'm just gonna go for level strokes. Nice and level. You can see I'm not even trying right now. My leg's doing all the work. I'm just letting my, my body hang out. You can see, I'm already getting smoked. Once again, I'm not trying. My cord just slipping a little bit. I'm gonna pinch. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of squeezing in with my core. Kind of my side, my obliques. Long bow strokes. Nope, my spindle kicked out. Looks like my hole's not deep enough. Set. This is my sycamore set here. Um, my hole just kind of, the whole spindle kind of slid off. That's a common thing. That's what happens. Um, people think every time you should bow drill, you should get a, you should get an ember right away. That's not really a good judge of how good you are at the bow drill. Um, bow drill is about being very precise and knowing what's what's wrong and how to fix it. Okay. Um, so here, my hole is kind of worn out. This isn't going to do much for me now. So I'm just going to make another hole. 
Um, nothing to stress about. Um, I've learned over the years that the bow drill is a very zen art, um, along with many other primitive skills, that if you're not in the moment, if you're not slowing down and realizing what you're doing, if your awareness is elsewhere, um, it becomes very difficult. So a lot of times I encourage people just to slow down. Um, all these primitive skills, once again, are a tool for us to bring awareness to our lives, to ourselves, how we interact, how we, how we show up in this world. Uh, all right, I made some adjustments here. I got a new trench, a new hole. Um, I'm gonna work on my nest here and then see if we can get an ember with the, uh, the sitting technique. After a few tries, a few fails, I finally got an ember. Take my bird's nest here. Don't freak out, it's building up. It's got some life to it. I'll put that guy in my bird's nest. Hopefully blow it into life. There we go. The sitting technique does work just as well as the crouching. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the demo. Uh, as you can tell, the sitting method does work and it works quite well. Um, I would like to thank my teachers, all the amazing wild women um, that I met in the wilderness uh, who have taught me, who have passed down this, this technique. Um, I encourage people to share it openly. Uh, I, think, I think friction fire, um, it tends to be a male dominated thing, but I think, um, I don't think that's fair. I think, I think all of us have an ancestral uh, birthright to be able to make fire from our surroundings. Uh, that's something innately human in us. Um, so if this you know, helps, helps certain people out there, um, women included, uh, to, to make fire and feel empowered, by all means, go for it. Use it as much as you can, pass it on. Uh, so, in conclusion, go out there, try the sitting bow drill. Share your thoughts. Um, I want you know comment below if you think this is better or it's worse. Um, pros and cons. Um, I want to hear what you guys think. I've I haven't shared this with a lot of people. This is kind of a secret a secret thing that's been passed on to me. Um, so I'm curious on what you guys think. Women especially. I'd love to hear um, your perspective. Let me, let me know how it goes for you. Is this helpful? Um, were you able to achieve fire with it? Um, if so, I'd love to hear about it. So um, until next time, I'm gonna go get a run in on this beautiful day. Um, try to lose some of this non-starvation rolls that you've had to stare at for the last <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> so, peace out. See you guys. You guys are used to starving, Luke. I don't look so good when I'm not starving in the woods, do I? I'm not, uh, I'm not starving. I ate, uh, a good deal of lamb shanks just previously. <laughs> you think I'm joking, but I literally ate some lamb shanks. So when I'm crouching over... Focus in on my midsection. I swear I'm not fat, it's just when I sit down, my extra energy is showing. <sighs> I just have to talk like this the whole time.